again, we're there for a week. We meet this kid, we meet a family, and, and the mom says, could you take your, my son back with you? They were just giving clinics, and then they saw me over there saying, oh, we're going to come back, see you guys again. I didn't believe them. Like, people say that all the time. We don't know who's your son out there. So, well, that little skinny kid, uh, that's my son, and I want him to go back with you guys. So they did come back a year later, and I was a little grown and everything, and they saw me. He was a good kid, happy, you know, um, loved having him in the family. The whole family loved him. Ooh, that guy's good. He was a little skinny runt kind of guy. Uh, did he have talent? Probably more so than some of the other kids, but nothing that you would say, oh, yeah, we could bring him back and make him a major leaguer. But, I mean, I just love baseball. Since little kid, my country is a soccer country, so I, but I always loved Love baseball. I mean, since little kid, I always had that passion for. He, uh, he was homesick, went home, and uh, he said, yeah, I'm coming, no, I'm not coming, yeah, I'm coming, no, I'm not coming. I was never away from my family, and be able to do that to a random place that with people that I barely knew, it was tough, and, but at the same time, I knew it was going to be worth it at some day. His mom never let him spend the night over his friend's house, let alone go to another country. thing that he said, and he made that crystal clear, Coach, I want to play Major League Baseball. That's my dream. People are asking me, what do you want to do when you grow up? I want to play baseball. I'm like, you have a backup plan? Nope. I'm like, this is it. Like, this is it. He's driven. There was nothing, and I mean nothing, going to stop this guy. And he lived and breathed baseball. Even after practice, he would go hit with his son, Ben, and hit for hours. He had strength in those forearms. He didn't have much of the forearms. He had tremendous bat speed. When I take my in and out, I would give him the Jeter play, Derek Jeter play, hit it in the hole and let him backhand it and jump off and throw it. He made it look better than Derek Jeter. And being able to be the first one was, was something amazing because you know, there's nobody from my country ever done that and be able to be the first one, what's, what's, what's a blessing? It is a wonderful story. Yeah. When you take this kid from the country of Honduras where people walk around with machine guns. As Hondurans, we're fighters. I mean, we're fighters. We, we overcome a lot of stuff. And then we're not, we're not going to stop till we get you know, what we dream of. And I think that's how we can describe my people. So that was his goal, and nothing was going to get in his way. So to be surprised that he made it, no. I was just excited. I'm like, I got to go home and play for home for a little bit and then go to the Giants. I mean, in high school, I used to go to Giants games all the time. Is it a blessing that we got a chance to see him at the beginning? Absolutely. Absolutely. And to see where he is, where he is right now and where he's going to be, he's going to be magic. I mean, the Giants have been winning World Series, and the ultimate goal is help them win another one. So that's the big plan right now for, for the long run. But right now, we just get up there and you know, prove, my, prove, prove everybody what I've been doing my whole life and you know, be, to play baseball. Only God knows what has in store for me, but I just play every day and just stay healthy.